Hi, I am Dr. Tanvir Bajwa. So, I'm Dr. Bijoy Kenderia, cardiologist. Hello, my name is Asad Gafoor and I'm the... Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Arshad Jahangir. Hi, I'm Patricia Galasco. Hi there, I'm Dr. Reina Kajay. Hello, I'm Dr. Abdul Jamil Tajik. Hi, I'm Suhail Alakaban and welcome to Aurora Cardiology Program. So, cardiovascular program at Aurora is one of the uh, oldest teaching programs uh, in the state. We were the first cardiovascular fellowship program started in 1978 before there were any formal cardiology programs in the country and uh, over the years um, the program has grown from one fellow uh, to now having six general fellows per year we have four interventional fellows per year um, we have um, three to six EP fellows we have a heart failure fellowship we have an imaging fellowship um, so the program overall has grown in its scope and number over the years. I have always believed since I have been here as a fellow and now as a faculty. I call it with a little fun that we are the Harvard of Midwest. I have always believed that this is the best clinical program uh, in the whole Midwest. There's a lot of energy. We are a very high volume center and we are a cutting edge as for the electrophysiology in all the specialties, especially in electrophysiology and coronary intervention. Over the past 10 years, uh, not by my criteria, but by criteria put together by MedAxium, which is an external consulting group that American Society of Echo has, uh, has commissioned, we are in the top five echocardiographic laboratories in the country. We have a very robust general cardiology fellowship, um, and in particular, the echocardiography rotations. We run a very busy lab with 60 to 70 transthoracic echoes a day, 5 to 10 transesophageal echoes, and up to 20 stress echocardiograms. So for a fellow, it's a great experience. Um, it's a lot of volume, um, a lot of acuity, a lot of morbidity, um, and also a lot of structural echocardiography. Um, we routinely do two to three microclips a week, up to 10 tavers, three to four watchmans. ASD closures are a routine part of our day, as well as uh, alcohol septal ablation. Um, I work closely with fellows during our cardiac and CT uh, rotations, during our nuclear rotations, as well as cardiac MRI and echo rotations. And in all these aspects, um, fellows um, get a very thorough training in non-invasive multimodality imaging starting from patient's preparations, going through actual um, scans and almost uh, processing of all of the studies. And eventually they're ready to take on the boards and uh, hopefully even uh, take on potentially positions of leading other labs uh, in the future. You know, luckily for us, uh, we are not only uh, the biggest transplant center in Wisconsin, but in the Midwest, uh, other than Cleveland Clinic and University of Michigan, uh, nobody is close to a thousand transplants as we are. We're uh, just a few numbers away from a thousand. We're in the 990s now for heart transplants. So we have a long established history with the heart transplant at Aurora St. Luke's. So I'm the director of Cardiac Specialty Clinic, a broad name, which includes patients with uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and other inherited cardiovascular disorders, primarily cardiomyopathy. Also in this uh, clinic, we visualize and do echocardiograms on these individuals as they present for consultation. Other subspecialties that are seen are aortopathies, Marfan syndrome being the prototype, and complex valvular heart disease cases requiring some challenging decision making. And then the focus is also on adults with congenital heart disease. So on daily basis, as you will be rotating through this clinic, you will see a mixture of patients consisting of these disorders, which are the non-coronary heart disease individuals that is a specialized 
center needed for their care. From, we have a very extensive uh, patient population where uh, with the electronic record system it's uh, it's a lot of questions that we face or where the data is not very clear those type of research questions can be uh, addressed using um, outcome based type of data retrospective analysis of the data if somebody is interested there are prospectively uh, conducted type of trials that can be done vascular fellowship and I would like to share with you some of the facts uh, which are important uh, for you to understand how we train our fellows. It's very essential for you to understand that uh, our program is one of the longest running cardiovascular electrophysiology fellowship in the country, which was established in 1977 by Dr. Akhtar, his world He's worldwide known uh, physician, uh, and I'm, be pr I'm proud of being a product of this training. He was my mentor, um, and uh, what we are here, uh, what we have here, is all because of his efforts and his knowledge. Um, and that's the reason why our program grew up over the several years. Until now, we have 10 esteemed faculty in the electrophysiology department all of them are eager to teach if you are looking to get a strong training in clinical cardiology and especially for fellows who are interested in subspecialty trainings i think this is an excellent program because you get a very uh, broad training in clinical cardiology and you get a full flavor of all the subspecialty programs in cardiology which I think helps the fellows choose what subspecialty program they're going to go into. Because once you make that decision, most of the times you're going to um, spend rest of your life in that subspecialty program. So you want to be sure before you embark on that journey that that's what you want to do. And every, every year um, we have fellows that think they want to do one subspecialty and then after a year or two in the cardiology program, they change their mind entirely to go towards a different subspecialty, um, which is a good thing. Uh, I think fellows need to experience that before they make that final decision what they want to do for the rest of their life. So I think uh, this program helps the fellows to get that experience, decide what they want to do, have a well-informed decision what they uh, are going into, and then um, we have all the subspecialty programs if they choose to go into a subspecialty. We are fellows, our families, and we are very proud and we take pride in teaching our fellows. And our fellows become the future leaders in their communities.